Oh, you mean it? I mean it. You want, I mean, I, of course I want you to have it. If you want it, I don't want you oh, to well, have it. Well, are you, you don't serious? I would love nothing more than to walk down the aisle in your wedding dress. I just, I wasn't sure that's what you wanted. It's what I want, sweetheart. I want it. You, you and Ned have my support 100%. Oh. I, I, I know you. There's, there's been problems and everything, but look, if you can forgive him, who am I to hold out, oh, right? Ma, oh, Ma. <laughs> oh, Ma. Hey, girlfriend, what's with your tears? Oh, no, <laughs> it's nothing. I just, I get a little sappy when it comes to weddings, you know. <gasps> Well, you think you can hold yourself together long enough to be my maid of honor? Oh! Oh! You mean it? Are you serious? Who else is going to be my maid of honor but my very best friend oh, in the whole it. world except for my husband? Of course! Oh, I would be so happy to be your maid of honor. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, I'm going to have to probably arm wrestle Ned. <laughs> what do you mean? He's going to want you to be his best man. I'm sure. <laughs> I love that idea. <laughs> oh, you know, we have to just start gathering up the troops. I want the entire family there on mass. Well, you just try to keep <gasps> them away. Oh, oh <laughs> Angie has got to be the flower girl. That's uh, that's Louie and Dee Dee's little three-year-old. And Vinny and oh. Pat, they've got to be the ring bearers. Those are Mark's twins. Oh, they're so sweet. <sighs> oh. Ma. Ma, what is it? I, I just can't stand it. What? Just the thought of those the little boys coming down. The little, the little oh, pillows with the rings on yeah. them and everything. You know, the Angie, she's just a little doll. Oh, yeah. She'd be there. Oh, yeah. She's going to be the very the best, best diet, The best ever. one I was ever at. Yeah. Oh, Grandma and Grandpa oh. Cirillo, they got to be there what? too, Ma. What are you, nuts? You think they wouldn't be there? Yeah. <laughs> oh. You guys have so much family. Oh. How do you keep track of all of them? Scorecards. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> You're so lucky. Oh, Brenda. Sweetheart, please listen to me. You are a member of this family forever, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, an honorary yeah. Cirillo. Yeah. God help you. <laughs> uh. Baby? What? Baby, what? Ma, what? What? I'm getting married. No one rides on a running streak forever. Yeah. Watch me. Oh, let's go. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh. That's a nine. All right, we'll make it nice. We'll make it nice. Give it a feel. Give it a feel. Thank you. I thought you would have been asleep hours ago. Oh, well, I tried. But uh, every time I closed my eyes, I just kept thinking of all the things that could be going wrong tonight. Oh, you mean with the Cirillos? Absolutely. I mean, Carmine and Edward raging it out at loose clubs. I mean, that's ripe with possibilities. I'm beginning to regret not going along. Me too. Me too. I hate missing stuff like that. So I decided I would come down here and... Uh, catch them when they come in. Just to make sure that Ned and Lois had some backup if they needed it, huh? I'm actually rooting for those two. It's hard not to. Do you want to uh, wait alone? Absolutely not. Come on, come on over here. You can convince me that Edward is not making mincemeat out of Carmine. Come on, come on, baby needs a new pair of shoes. And the shooter is Red Hot! Yes, Red Hot! All night. At this rate, he can buy baby an entire wardrobe. The whole store. Come on, give me those dice. Oh, all right. Don't pass. Oh, Edward, you're too stubborn. I'll put my money on Carmine any day. Yeah. You know, I keep remembering World War II. I uh, transported troops in that long trip across the Atlantic. 
And sometimes entire units would toss away entire pay because they didn't know when to stop while they were ahead. Yeah, but not before we cleaned out all the swabbies before, huh? Oh, uh, well, I was hardly a swabby. No, no, you were probably an officer, which is twice as bad. Well, I'm betting it all. Oh. Don't oh. pass. Something tells me that your luck is about to run out. Yeah, well, we're going to see about that, aren't we? Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And the shooter crapped. Oh. <laughs> right, give me the dice. Give me the dice, Luke. I'm not done yet. Oh, oh, we've got him on the run. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that is enough. Oh. Carmine, open your hand. I'm putting an end to this right now. Oh. I think that Ed's luck was just about to change. And we'll never know now, will we? Thank you both so much. You had a lovely evening. Well, I'm glad you could make it. I still say you ought to ditch the old goat one night and spend some time in here with me alone. Oh, watch out now, Luke. Mm -hmm. One of these days, I might just take you up on that. The anticipation of that keeps my blood pumping. Uh. Mm. Hey, Luke, yes. this sleep yes. is oh. cooking. It's oh. great. Thank you. Hey. Thanks for helping out with the folks, okay? You know how I feel about them. I'll do I anything know. for you. I know. You love them. Appreciate it, Sonny. Obviously, they have a real soft spot for you. Imagine yeah. that. Right. And Gloria? Yes. Gloria, next yes. time, don't forget your pasta fazul. Huh? <laughs> you got it. You got it. Next We're time you're in town, we'll expect to see you in here. Hey, you got Thank it. You. you got it. Oh, that feels so good. Is it my imagination, or are you starting to feel a lot stronger? I am. And I think a lot of it has to do with Paige. How so? Every day I watch her strength just ebb away. I have to be stronger for her. I get the feeling that you'd like it if Paige would just stay here and never go back to Phoenix. I would. But that's up to her and Emily, and I, uh, I don't think they're ready to make that kind of a decision. How would you feel about that? You know, when I agreed for Paige to come to Port Charles, I was open to all possibilities. I simply didn't know what was going to happen. But you have to understand that you are my primary concern. Whatever you want to do on her behalf is fine with me, as long as it doesn't undermine your health, Monica. If anything, it reinforces my recovery. Supporting each other at times like that, that's what La Mesa was all about. You are not a group, Monica. You are one woman. An incredible one, I grant you, but you can't single-handedly take the place of the La Mesa group. It would just take too much energy out of you. I'm only being a friend, Alan. I can just tell you that both of us miss that group. Wish there was something like that in poor Charles. What? General Hospital should have a wellness group, Alan. It should. And I'm the one that could put it together. Having a wellness group in Port Charles at General Hospital is a wonderful thing. Why are you fighting me? Monica, you're still recovering from your illness and dealing with Paige and Emily. And frankly, I'm worried that you trying to organize a group like this is just more than you can deal with physically and emotionally. Okay, okay, granted. The administration and the day-to-day -day handling would be a bit much, but I don't see it up and running for quite a while. In the meantime, I can get the ball rolling. With the planning, the organization, the fundraising, that's just all head stuff. I'm up for that. Monica, I don't want to put a damper on your enthusiasm. I just don't want you to bite off more than you can chew. I know. I know. Let me, let me just explain something. I want to live. Seeing what Paige is going through right now, that just drives it home more than ever. I wouldn't jeopardize that for anything. Of course you wouldn't. But one of the principles of the La Mesa group was to stay involved. To live your life, use every single moment. What better way to repay those lessons than to pass it on to others? Of course. It would make a wonderful gift. I'd like if you and I could be the initial financial contributors. Would you support me on that? Absolutely. Oh, you are a wonderful man, a remarkable husband, and I love you. I love you. <laughs> That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. It wouldn't be if you'd simply open up your mind to new ideas. But peanut butter and mayonnaise? Oh, God, the thought of it makes my hair curl. Hey, listen, don't knock it till you've tried it. 
But I've never even heard Where's of Where's mother? Peanut oh, butter. Reginald and took and grandmother in the other way. Peanut butter. I think she's oh. in the pantry knocking peanut, back a quick peanut drink. Peanut butter and avocado. <laughs> but mayonnaise. They're arguing oh, about peanut never. butter? I know yeah. your time. I'm certain you world jelly. peace oh, is dependent on the outcome. <laughs> Crunchy style will never cross these lips. It's smooth with strawberry jam on white bread. Oh. Am I the only one gaining an appetite from this conversation? Mm. Well, you know, we have all sorts of goodies out in the kitchen and the pantry. Or maybe you could rouse cook. Cook, what do you need cook for? You got me. I could whip something up in no time. Yeah. My ma happens to be the greatest cook in the world. I'll vouch for that. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Onward to the kitchen. Edward, lead the way. If you know where it is. <laughs> of course I know where it is. You know what? I'll bet you've never tried vinegar and french fries. <laughs> oh, I'm <all> <laughs>